You're listening to Saturday Morning Media. And now, back to our show. Elf Centered is made possible by the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons. To support this show and hear new episodes before anyone else, become a patron. Head on over to patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media for more information. And thank you for your support. Shared. I don't know what I'm gonna do for my costume. How can you? Com- well, today's the day. <laughs> you better decide before tonight. I know. Look, I've started a. I've started a bunch of costumes, and I just. Uh, you having a mental block? Yeah, mm. that's exactly it. Well, welcome to Elf Centered, everybody. My name is Gavin. Well, I'm Gary. Beatrice. And uh, we we're just discussing our Halloween costumes, and uh, I just realized that well, that intro. It's usually. Uh, the names are screwed up. I'm using the last one that says. Well, I don't. Does that? It bothers me. Want to try it again? Do you I mean, do we it again? Yeah, let's do it again. again. All right, here. We, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, you can just forget that past a uh, couple minutes of audio. But I'll just say, welcome to Elf Centered. My name is Gavin. I'm Beatrice. I'm Gary. Yeah, see, yeah, that, that feels feel better? better. That feels better. Well, it's just because she was gone two months ago. I know. And so it was my name, then your name, and you just got into that habit. Right. Well, Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, you're fine. We were just discussing our Halloween costumes. Um, and uh, Gary, you were saying that you, you've started a few. Can you tell us like a few that you started that you've given up on? Yeah, I was going to be I was going to be Chachi from Happy Days. Uh, um, and then I was. <laughs> you're going to be honest, Chachi. Beatrice <laughs> loves it. Yeah, I was going to be Chachi. But then, you know, in some of the countries down south, they don't. They don't care for Chachi, so right, I don't right. want to catch any of that kind of flack. Um, then I was like, then then I was thinking, oh man, who, who you know, I want to stretch myself. Then I was thinking, oh man, I'll be Ann Coulter. She's written a bunch of books, yeah. So I was thinking I could have just like a blonde wig and some. But then I thought, ah oh, man, whew, there's some uh, some people down south. Yeah, then they, they won't. They ain't gonna care for, for that. Yeah. You know, because now, now, now we're, um, now we're um, uh, video in the whole live stream and the whole event. Yeah, because I was going to say, why, why would the people down south Care. even know about our Halloween? But if we're live streaming, well, yeah, we're live streaming the um, the non competition uh, event this year. Oh, okay, okay. So, so no, Aunt Coulter, no, Chachi, Chachi. Any other ones that you started? Well, I was going to go on a 57 Chevy. Really? A 57 Chevy? Yeah. Like out of cardboard? <laughs> Make it out of cardboard and stuff? Well, yeah. Yeah, yes. Out of cardboard. I like that. that yeah, that's that a fun... That's good. unique. No one else is going to do it. Well, it's connected to the Chachi thing, and that's how I got my idea, because Chachi, our cola... And then... Um, but that... Yeah, but then I was thinking, oh, maybe you should go as an Impala Continental, or... Um, L, L, um, or a Tesla. Oh, Tesla. Teslas are very popular. Yeah, Ferrari, Bugatti. Mm. Wow. Go as Morris Minor. It's an old car. It's from England. Huh? Well, and so. Or I could go to the skateboard. Could you do? How about this? You now you have elements of all these costumes all together. Yeah, they're all together. How about this? You're a '57 Chevy uh-huh. that has run over Chachi and Ann Coulter, and like you have. Like the jacket and her hair Ooh. on the front of the or car. Or Chachi's driving the '57 Chevy that that ran over Ann Coulter. Yeah, Ooh, that's you can a, combine things like yeah. that. I think that, that. Like yeah, like and like like Voltron. Like the, the different elements come combined to make a superhero. Right. Because Voltron was like five different lines, and then they came together. Wow. Have you never seen Voltron be a No, I haven't. No. That's this glazed it's like, after look her, in my yeah. eyes. After her time. <laughs> like. After her time. Voltron. <laughs> um, well, Beatrice, have you heard anything? Uh, well, first of all, uh, I love your costume. Thank you. Yeah. It is, every year you go all out. We had flames. Yeah, she uh, was a dragon. dragons. She uh, was a dragon. Game of Thrones, the mother of dragons. Daenerys, uh, Daenerys. 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 And now you've you've, you've taken it up a notch. Uh, and I have never seen a, <laughs> it's so good. It makes me laugh. A Westworld cyborg like you. Well, uh, I love that show. Yeah. And you're all white. 
I'm all white and muscular. Uh, muscular and uh, some bullet holes in it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm it very proud good. of this. And when I when I walk when I move, you can kind of hear this. Like just a little bit of the servo. Yeah. Bzz, yeah. Bzz, this kind of. So. Uh, yeah. Very yeah. proud. Well, of you this. went all out again. Thank and you. I mean, it looks. It Thank looks you. real. I don't know how, and it may, it's weird because I keep looking up at the head of the cyborg, but I know your actual head is like in the chest area. Right. Well, I wanted so to make convincing. it bigger. Yeah, it was so convincing. It's really, it's really great. I don't know where to look. I, spe- I won't look lower because like, I get uncomfortable when I look when I look lower. Cause right. Because I'm not the, wearing any clothes. Those cyborgs are all right. naked. Right. right. But, They're naked. But yeah, I. It's fantastic. Just Thank a wonderful you. costume. Thank you. I'm very yeah. proud of it. Yeah. It must have taken. Just as much time, if not more, than the dragon costume. Well, yeah, I started working on it uh, in my trailer when I was on location. Yeah. Yeah, because oh. I had a lot of time. So I just started working on it then, and I poured all my creative energy into my costume. Mm-hmm. That and wasn't going out onto the camera, onto, you know. Right, uh, the, the when you're taking, when it was like action, and you did your lines... And that, and you did all your acting then. That that creative juice was going then, but then you had all this creative juice pent up. Mm-hmm. Did you meet with anybody? Like, did they have any special effects? Because I know you were wearing a prosthetic tail. In uh, from what you've told us about the tail. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was wearing a prosthetic tail, um, so I I had to spend a lot of time, you know, in special effects and and the sort of it's sort of like being in the makeup. But, hmm. but uh, while well, they put that on, but um, it's like do you have to sit backwards in the makeup chair, so yes. they can attach the tail. Yeah, yeah, I had to actually sit with my head um, going into the seat. Got it. Oh yeah. wow, that doesn't seem comfortable. Sounds but like... what what we do for your art, right? Yes, exactly. I am committed. I am a dedicated. I am a dedicated artist. Did As you... you can tell by this costume yeah. I am currently wearing. Yeah, there's a lot of details in it. Mm-hmm. I have to say, it's making me blush a little bit. Yeah, there's some details I think you... Anyway, well, it's a wonderful costume. Thank you. And we're glad uh, that, you know... Yeah, and it. we, are, we everybody knows what you are. You yeah. do the same thing every year. That's right. Mad Man Murdoch. Helen Mad Murdoch from the A-Team. <sighs> like, it's easy. You don't have to worry about makeup. You don't have to worry about costume. Like, I don't have the fret... Uh, that I have, like that you have, of like what I'm going to be. It's just, I got this jacket, I got this hat, put them on, get a little golf ball with a face on it, I am ready to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, And it also helps because I'm so excited for tomorrow, November 1st, as, I mean, Halloween's always an exciting time, but I'm so excited for November 1st because as everybody knows, this is it, Santa's big announcement. On October 2nd, he said he was going to have an announcement. The announcement was, on November 1st exactly is going to be the big announcement and this is it he said no more stalling this is going to be it so I can't wait speculation has been running rampant about what this is and I don't you know oh yeah I've been like uh, uh, um, North Pole's TMZ has been approaching has approached me and sometimes followed me waited outside my hut to get uh, me to talk about if I know anything I don't know anything yeah I don't know anything either any more than anybody else does he was sitting next to us and he had his notepad, and he's a little talked about it, but we didn't. He didn't go into any kind of thing. No, I. I mean, it could be anything. It could be, you know, I can't even. There's so many options of what this big announcement could be. Now, it is possible that at the very end of the announcement, he's just going to go, and the big announcement is Merry Christmas. But I don't think he would do that. I think Santa's got something up his sleeve. I hope so, because that would be a real. Well, I've I've seen I've seen Santa and Pretzel in deep in in sort of whispered uh, conversation, and they're they're hurrying, you know, here and there, and their heads are together, and they're they're talking furiously, and Pretzel's writing stuff down as they're walking. So something is going on. Yeah. Because you know, Pretzel normally is. You, you know, you never see pretzel doing anything. I'm Man, I've like, never seen pretzel. I've never seen pretzel before. You guys both know him, but I've never seen him. Well, I mean, I know of him. I know I of him. I, I, know, I, I know him to see him pass by. Yeah. You know, but I've never had a conversation with him. I, I, I mean, frankly, to me, he he's very, um, 
if, if I can sort of go a little Hollywood here, because, you know, that's been my frame of mind. Oh right, right. Here we go. It's a little black ops. It's a little, it's a little, you know, James Bondy. He's, yeah. he's very, he's stealth. I'm, I mean, there have been times where I have entered a room by myself. Nobody else is in the room. The library, for example, which is a place that has books. I know that, you know, Gary, ha. this isn't a place that you will. <laughs> I often wondered what that building yeah. held. It's called the library. Um, Boring. And then all of a yeah. sudden, you know, I'll be, I'll be looking on the, on the, Shell for the the book I want for your favorite your favorite Jane Austen novel. Yes, I do love my Jane Austen novels. I'll take the book off the shelf, and then you know when you do that, you can usually see see through the other see side. through, to, and 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 Pretzel will be standing there, like just oh. looking at you, just standing or stock still, right almost like a statue. Is he and looking back at you? Through he's the... looking back at me. Holy mackerel! I have screamed a couple of times, yeah. and then I'll go to look again, and he's gone. Hmm. Hmm. So I don't know what is going on. I... Well, here's my question. Do you think that whatever this surprise is, it is a good surprise or a bad surprise? Because like, it could be like, hey, we're automating the whole workshop and you're all laid off. That's the big announcement. And congratulations. <laughs> or it'll be like, hey, we're, you know, I don't know. Giving you a raise. Giving you a raise. Yeah, whatever. You hey, know... we're going to take half the books out of the library. I mean wouldn't affect me but right make room for bumper cars or right something. yeah Bubblegum. i would have said you know when santa was in here and he said that he, he and he made the announcement that he was making a big announcement on october 2nd right i would have said that it was a good thing right but then on october 2nd when he said his big announcement was that he was making an announcement on november 1st right i kind of got chills like a little nervous yeah. energy. You know? yeah. Not, yeah. Not good chills. Yeah, because, you know, Santa has a way of laughing. And you'd think he's, oh, it's joyful. But, man, sometimes he's laughed. And, like, it hadn't been about joyful things. Yeah, but those... he's like, hey, remember? Remember when we had the big um, uh, earthquake? Right. And he called in. Yeah. And he was like, oh, 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 oh emergency, sir. He yeah. was laughing. And yeah. I didn't think it was such a laughing matter. Now, I mean, maybe he was just trying to be jovial to keep people calm and happy and stuff. But man, oh man. He's a jolly guy. So mm. I think, every, like, the drop of a hat. How jolly do you ha- can you be mm. when there's people's lives at risk? Well, I hope that this is not a situation where there's lives at risk. I'm very hopeful that that's not well, the case here. I, mean, I guess we'll find out in less than 24 hours. We're... Yeah, we've gone dark. We've gone dark. We need we need to lighten it up. It's it's yeah. Halloween. We have a huge uh, festive event tonight. Right. Yeah. You know, the non-competition what, competition. non-competition event. What Gary's going to show up as? Well, let me ask you this. Uh, well, taking it back to Halloween. Halloween, of course, a time for candy and treats. I would love to know what your favorite treats are to get in your Halloween sack when you uh, open up your Halloween sack on November first before this. Big announcement. What are you hoping to find in your Halloween? Scotcheroos. Scotcheroos. <laughs> so you'll be like, here you go. You got three different costumes. Just keep showing up at her front door. Oh, yeah. In your different costumes. <laughs> hey, that's a good idea. Hey, it's a 57 Chevy and a blonde wig. Hey, it's just some guy wearing regular clothes. Yeah. So hey. Scotcheroos. Those are. Hey, it's a garbage can. Thank you, Gary. Thank hey, it's a big bag saying, fill me up. Thank you for saying that Scotcheroos are your favorite thing to receive in your. Man, they're everybody's favorite thing. Oh, thank you. Um, I am partial to... There's one mushroom hut that I try and hit up every year. Um, I'm trying to remember who lives there. Um, it's not somebody you see a lot. Um, kind of an older gentleman. Mr. Korber? Mr. Korber! That's uh. exactly who it is. Mr. Korber uh, gives little dark chocolate squares... Uh-huh. That are just decadent. They melt in your mouth, and they seem a little gourmet for for Halloween. Um, I love going to Mr. Corbin. Is it like a fudge thing, or is it dark? no, no? It's dark chocolate, and it's, it's really creamy. good quality. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so good. Melts in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I usually skip over his house, but now no, I think you should I'm gonna go. go. A oh, lot of people go. skip over Mr. Corbin's house because, frankly, it's, it's Mr. Corbin. a little creepy. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Corbin over there, and he's yeah. on the outskirts. Right. You know. Yeah. So he doesn't mow his lawn. No, and he's 
It's a little creepy over there. I mean, yeah. he doesn't have to do a lot of decorating yeah, for well, Halloween. You know what I mean? Right. Well, his job is to clean the anybody that dies clothes. That's his job. Is it? Yeah. Well, that's why it's so creepy. Oh. That's why there's always a laundry out in the front. Is that why there's a, the a Hertz? Hertz. Hertz. Yeah. yeah, there's a Hertz. There's, there's a Hertz rent a car. Hertz. That's right across the street. The Hertz rent a car. Place. Oh, oh. But right. there's also a hearse, hearse parked right out front of his. Yeah, place. but that hearse is Hertz. Oh, really? He just rents that from he across hurts, the street. He rents the hearse from the Hertz. Oh, you know, I you see. could rent hearses from Hertz. Oh yeah, they rent all kinds of stuff. Huh. Like tanks? Could you get a tank if you wanted a tank? Uh, yeah. Huh. I gotta go check out <laughs> Old Man Corver's house and this Hertz <laughs> right across the street. I gotta get to that end of town. There's yeah, a lot no, of fun no, things. They, they, they run all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Well, I like my favorite uh, treat is the circus peanuts. Those orange circus peanuts. Oh. Uh, oh. Those are so delicious. They are. And I they, love you know, them. You only see them one time a year. Those those are, for me, those are the equivalent of getting Tootsie Rolls in my sack. I hate Tootsie Rolls. Uh, Man, I love peanuts yeah, in I my have... sack. When I get the peanuts in my sack, they, they I I can't wait to dig in there. Tootsie Rolls are a little bit too... My dentist said I can't... I have like a, a click in my jaw, and so he said I can't TMJ. have Tootsie Rolls. That's yeah. called TMJ, yeah. yeah. What's that TMJ stand for? Um, that's the gossip website, right? No, that's, no, that's TMZ. TMZ. TMZ, okay. TMJ, I... I don't know. Muscular oh, come on, make it jaw. Up. Yeah. To, too muscular jaw. Too muscular. That's what I have, is my jaw is too, too muscular. Much John. Tension, too much jaw. Tension. Tension. Too much jaw. Yeah. Mm. But I like the circus peanuts because the thing I love about the circus peanuts is you open some circus peanuts and you put them out and say you forget about them. Huh. They're going to be just, they're going to taste exactly the same, have the same consistency two years later when you find them again. Mm. So that's why I like the circus that's peanuts. That's the same as Tootsie Rolls. Yeah. Yeah. And Peeps. I'm not a fan of Peeps. Oh, really? You don't like Peeps? I don't like I Peeps. I love Peeps. And my dad used to hate Peeps. Now, I don't, the kind of the exact opposite of the orange peanuts is I don't like when peeps have been out and they turn hard. I like nice, fresh. Because like some people will say they, you know, at Easter time or whatever, they get their peeps, they open it up, and they let them, you know, sit it out for a day, so they become hard. The marshmallow, become, and I, don't, I like them nice and soft and chewy. Yeah. You know what I used to do? I don't do. I haven't done this in a while. But you take out a peep or a couple peeps, and you put them on a skewer. And you light the little gas burner on your stove, and you toast mm. them a little bit. Toasted peeps. You gotta be careful because if you get a flaming, sugary, hot. Peep. peep on your skin you're it's a, like napalm it's yeah. not good yeah, anyway. it really burns in there yeah yeah it's like candy corn candy corn that oh another disco i yeah. hate candy corn uh, really? i love candy corn oh. this is all interesting i don't like black licorice uh, see that's my favorite thing so really? we can do some trades if there was some black licorice scotch i'd be in heaven tomorrow well we have the big announcement but uh we should bring our sacks together <laughs> so, i'm sorry what? I don't understand what's so funny. <laughs> oh, oh, she, I, she saw my, she saw my drawing. I drew a funny picture of my costume, and she can't stop laughing. At it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, not professional. We should bring our sex together. Would you please put that picture away? I, I don't know. Well, I'm, I gotta finish it. I gotta finish it. All Mr. right. I gotta finish oh, it. It looks it's, good. It's for, um, it's for pretzel. And uh, he wanted me to draw a picture of Santa Claus for him. And Santa Claus, is, he's got a sack filled with those uh, p- peanuts. Yeah. Those, oh. yeah, those, those circus orange peanuts. circus peanuts. I love peanuts. it. Welcome to my way. So anyway. What, we're, trades. We're, we should do tradesies. You know. We'll we should oh. bring our sacks together yeah. and do tradesies. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That sounds good. I'd bring a sack or two. Sure. Well, hey, you know what? We've got the uh, forecast here. The forecast for tonight is going to be good trick or treating weather. It's going to be cold. There's going to be snow on the ground, but it won't actually be snowing. Yay. It'll be a nice night for it. Oh, so after your non competitive uh, event? event, you can go around and you can do your trick or treating. Uh, please remember to wear some reflective clothing. You don't want to get hit by a uh, dog sled, a hearse, or a tank as you're uh, crossing the streets. Mm. And um, uh, we will, I guess, we'll, we'll talk to you in November, but by then everyone will know the announcement, and I can't wait to, to find out what that is. But um, there you go. Uh, that'll do it for this episode of Health Centered. My name is Gavin. I'm Beatrice. I'm Gary. And thank you for tuning in. Now, we got, did we get the outro right? Yeah, yes, yes. Okay. But see, I just got to, yes, we did. And uh, yeah, I was saying, oh, you can also, I was going to. 
This episode of Elf Centered was completely improvised by Jane Entwistle, Chris Sheets, and Grant Pachoco. Music for this episode by Kevin McLeod. This show is a production of Saturday Morning Media and made possible by the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons who've gone to patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up a monthly pledge for as little as a dollar a month. Huge thanks to Shay Stewart, Merle Lafferty, Jeff Peterson, Dale Gadania, Stephen Staver, Jackie Clemo, Melissa Crawford, Dave Slusher of the Evil Genius Chronicles, Mike Conflin, Dorothy Bachoco, John D., Kathy Crawford, Brian Greer, Carrie Whitney, Chuck Tomasi from the Technorama Podcast, Chris Foster, Stephen Ng, Clinton of ComedyForecast.com, Vicky DeVry- Rise, Mike Wobshell, Twitter user Butts and Gear, aka Wildcat, Eve Cunning, Mike Hamilton, Gaston Morano, Reed Loveland, Ivan Asquith, Vanessa Whitney, Peggy Etra, Kristen Hogan of Squid Friends, David Akers, Zoe Palladino, Ellen Multari, Christopher Harris, Rachel Jackson of Vox Fabuli Puppets, Carolyn Weisner, John Petty, Rachel Hansen, Darcy Prevost, Fernando Torres, Ron McAdams, Pearly Q Magic, Jason Domer, Lee Barrett, Casino Skunk, The Misty Minute, Peter Capesser, Night Gig Studios, Joel Recht for Tig, Adrian Rose Leonard, Earth to John Francis, RJ, Ginger J. Fitz, Megapodtastic, Paul Brunel, Jamie Hitchcock, Catherine Hannaford, Alan Gratz, Rachel Gibbis, John R. Donald, Jude Major, Miss Motti and her buddies, Molly Smith, Phil Goodman, Emma Bunt Rockmuller, Jennifer Ballier, Nate Beagle, David Packman, The Trivia Puppet Company, and Annette Mateo of Puppetlandia. If you'd like to support this show and the other fun content from Saturday Morning Media, become a patron. Head on over to p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up your monthly pledge today. You can also tell a friend about the show or leave the show a review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, or wherever you get your podcasts. Thank you so much for listening. This show is copyright 2018 Saturday Morning Media Grant Bachogo Executive Producer. All rights reserved. www.saturdaymorningmedia.com You've been listening to Saturday Morning Media. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.